So we're joined by, is it Super Matty Baker these days you go by? Sometimes, not very often. Uh, yeah, nice to get a good reception from the crowd, so that yeah, was good. Back to back goals in back to back home games for you, how's that feel as a defender? I think that's the first time, yeah, I think that's the first time it's ever happened to me. Um, it's good, I want to contribute, I've always wanted to add more goals to my game. It's an area that I need to, to get better in. And um, if I can help the team out by scoring a few goals, then, then that's what it's about, so yeah, it's nice. What did you make of that as a whole team performance today? Uh, first off, we weren't we weren't uh, at our best, but we still created four or five great opportunities to, to be in control of the game. We didn't take them, um, which gives them a bit of momentum. And then it's just a sloppy goal again. We keep conceding these sloppy goals, which is frustrating from a set play. And then that puts everyone nervous and edgy. And um, But again, we show good character. We always do. We go 1-0 we go down, we got back in the game and then second half in the game so starts to open up again um, we start to show what we can do and, and we played a lot better and, and took a couple of chances which, which wins the game which is the most important thing Just mentioned there another sloppy goal you think you conceded difficult to take the way you keep conceding like that every week yeah, It's frustrating because like again like as a centre half you want to keep clean sheets and it's just the odd goal here and there as a whole I think we we uh, defend alright and, and like, we've kept some chances to a minimum in the last few games it's just just one goal here, one goal there that we need to, to cut out because it's going to be games where it costs us. So, again, a set play, which is just disappointing. We need to be better at that. And, and maybe it's organisation, maybe, it, I don't know. But it's um, it's making sure that we cut these mistakes out to, to improve because that's what we want to do. We're top of the league, but but we can still get better. You've just said there, we're going in the second half. Why Do you think that is a problem that we seem to be not getting going until we're either a goal down or... Half time, we're getting in, and then we're turning up in the second half. I don't think it's always that. I think teams come here. It's a nice pitch, it's a nice ground. We're top of the league. Everyone wants to beat us. That's the way it is. Um, and teams are going to give it a go for 45 minutes. It's hard. You've got to give respect to the other teams. Um, Dunkirk, every team that's come down here, they're going to give it a go for 45 minutes, 90 minutes. They're going to come at you. We've got to earn the right to play. Um, and then second half, the game when people start to get tired, the game starts to open up. And then when we've got a front three with with the quality they have, they've got more space and, and, and they make decisions. So I don't always think it's about being sloppy in the first half. I think sometimes you've got to give a bit more respect to the other team and say, you know what, they've come in here, they'll give it a go, they're coming at us. We've got to weather storms. And then in the second half, um, especially when we're attacking this end and you're going towards the fans, it, it, it helps. So um, no, I don't, I don't always think it's sloppy starts. I think sometimes you just got to give a bit more respect to, to the other team. How good was Liam Mitchell behind you today? Seemed like he kept them out on a, more than a couple of occasions today. Yeah, he's made made two or three good saves. Um, that's what that's what he's there to do. That's what we're there to do. And um, we we've got good strength and depth as a squad. Um, and there's going to be some games where hopefully he won't be needed. And then there's some games like today where he needs to make a couple of saves. And that's what he's there to do. And we've got good confidence in Mitch to to make those saves and and, and to keep us in the game. So. At times when he's called upon, he's, he's, he's normally there. So, yeah, it's, it's good for him. So, yeah, good. 11 straight wins at the new Manor Ground now, I believe it is. Someone will probably correct me on that one. How big a impact on the season do you think playing here and getting those kind of runs is going to be? I think no matter where you are, home form is massively important. Um, and this ground always has been a bit of a fortress and you've got to make it that. People have got to come here and they've got to earn to win three points. And... Um, yeah, it's good, that, it's good that we're winning at home. We need to keep doing that away as well. But, yeah, it's a nice stat and, and we need to keep keep moving forward with that and, and keep winning at home. So, yeah, that's going to be important. Go again on Tuesday night against Brockton in the Cup. Is that a Cup run that you're looking forward to or is it more focusing on the FA Vars rather than the League Cup? You just focus at the next game. It doesn't matter what game it is next. Tuesday night, um, then Saturday. It doesn't matter what game it is, what competition. We focus on the next game and we give 100%. We prepare right don't underestimate any team and we, we want to win every game so and that's what we're there for Would you have rather had the week's break given training Tuesday Thursday ahead of the Eastwood game or is it important that we keep playing keep winning and you're just building more momentum as you go I think it's, there's no difference um, we'd have a hard training session Tuesday if, if we didn't have a game so having a game's good we get to get back out on the pitch that's what we want to do so yeah, help prepare us um, and make sure we're focused going towards Saturday and, and then moving forward. So that's good. Cheers, Matt, and good luck for the rest of the season. Always, thank you very much.